Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm showing you how to get a camera in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So if you like Minecraft videos like this one then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos just like this one in the future. And so indeed as you can see all around me there are many different cameras. And this is a secret item in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And in this video, I'll show you how I got this item right here. But before we do that, let's quickly check out what it actually does. So if we just look out on this beautiful view we have in front of us, and then on PC, we right click. There we go. We take a photograph of the view in front of us, pretty much like a screenshot in Java Edition, but then a slightly different aspect ratio, of course, as you can see, it's a one by one aspect ratio. But then you might be wondering, well, what are these things you can see around me then? Because if I right click with this on the ground, yeah, nothing really happens. Well, that is actually because there are two different cameras. So one is an item and one is sort of a block. So this is the other camera right here. And if you right click this one on the ground, there we go. You can see that we place down a camera. And this camera has some special properties because if we place it on this block up here and then break the block below, it is affected by gravity. You can also push it with water, as you can see there. There they go off the top of the mountain. And if you ever wanted to get rid of one of these cameras, all you have to do is just punch it. And there we go. We see a couple of particles and it disappears. So its behavior is actually quite similar to that of an armor stand. Both of these are affected by water, gravity, and you can punch them to get rid of them. Now I have not been able to figure out how to actually take a picture with the camera as a block on the ground. If you know if that is possible, then please let me know about it in the comments down below. But you can still use both of these cameras to take nice pictures of the scenery around you. Even of all of these other cameras. Only if you're looking at a block. So for example here, and we try to take a picture with either of these. That doesn't work. And this will only work if you hold shift and then use the camera. There we go. Then you can take a picture of the ground just like this. And then some other interesting quirks about this camera. First of all, as you can see, if I place one down in survival mode. It does not remove one from the stack of cameras I have in my inventory, so you can place them down indefinitely. And furthermore, you can also have different cameras on the same block, like this, by placing a block and then placing a camera on top and breaking that block. And as you can see, all the cameras can stack on top of each other. So that is basically how this camera works. But you might be wondering, where do these images go? Because we see them on the screen for a bit, but we don't get anything in our inventory or anything like that. There are no images here. So how do we access these images? Well, they are actually saved in a folder. And so, of course, this is most easily accessible on PC. But you could also track this down on the mobile version, for example. For consoles, it's going to be a whole lot more difficult. But if you head over to your file explorer and to your Minecraft Bedrock Edition folder, if you don't know how to get here, I've made a video on it. Link to it is in the top right-hand side of your screen. Then you go over to local state and screenshots and then the world in which you made the camera screenshots. For some reason, you still can't see the actual names of the worlds here, just a code. So if you made different screenshots on different worlds, you might have to go through a couple of these to find the screenshots that you're actually looking for. So there's this one in my case, photos, then a random number here. And then here you'll see all the pictures I've taken, labeled by both date and time of me taking the pictures and if we open one of these we can see that it actually has a photograph like border around it sort of polaroid style and then the image of what i photographed in game and so this is pretty much a way to take screenshots in minecraft barrack edition and so the camera is part of minecraft education edition and in education edition you can also combine the camera with a portfolio item which also stores all of the different photos you've taken however i have not been able to get the portfolio to work on barrack edition if i try to give it to myself it just isn't there so i'm not sure if you're actually able to get the portfolio along with the camera in barrack edition but at least the camera you are able to obtain in regular Minecraft Bedrock Edition. But all right, that's enough for how the camera works. Now let's show you how I actually got this camera or both of these cameras. And that is actually through the use of an external editor. So currently for Minecraft Bedrock Edition, there aren't really any great external MBT editors out there. If you do know of a great one, then please let everyone know in the comments down below, of course. But the only way I could figure out to make this work was to use the Universal Minecraft Editor, which sadly is a paid subscription at the moment. I'll still leave a link to it in the description down below if you want to check it out. 
But it is, as far as I know, one of the only ways of actually obtaining this camera in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So what do you need to do to get the two cameras using the universal Minecraft editor? And it will probably work similar with other external editors, but you first have to find one that works for your device. So again, let everyone know in the comments down below what kind of editors you use for the different consoles and mobile. But once you have that, all you need to do is just grab any type of block. So let's say a stack of oak planks and just any item. So let's say we grab a stack of paintings, for example, it can be any item. And so it will be easiest if we just place these in the first two slots of our hotbar like this, and then just exit the world like this. And so the next you'll have to go into your preferred external editor. So again, I'm using the universal Minecraft editor, which is now a paid subscription, sadly. But here you can then first select the platform on which we have our world. So we can use Pocket Edition, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Wii U, and of course, Windows 10, which is what I'm using currently. So all I need to do is just click on Windows 10, and this gives me my Windows 10 world. So I'm doing this on this world down here. So I just select that one and click on open. Next, we'll go over to the players. So we'll click players and we'll click local player here at the top, double click it. And then we see all the MBT data of this player. So we'll head over to the inventory. So click this arrow. And then we have these first two entries and these will be our planks indeed and also our paintings. So to get the camera item, all you need to do is just rename this Minecraft painting to camera like this, press enter. Make sure you press enter, otherwise it doesn't work. And that's all you need to do there. To get the block, it's a bit more involved. So again, we can change the name to Minecraft camera just like this enter but now we need to also change the entries inside of this block folder so press the arrow on the block folder and here we have the version and also the name both of these we need to change so the name will change from minecraft planks to item dot camera like this press enter and the version will change from whatever it is currently to 1804 zero three three five press enter and there we go so this is all you need to do to get the camera into your inventory so change this for the planks and change this for the paintings and then finally all you need to do is just click the save button on the top left here there we go we save it and the world has been saved press ok and we can head out of here and now we can go back into our minecraft better condition game all right so we are back now what we need to do is just go back into our world here we go and we can check if it has worked if we have cameras in our inventory now so in our hotbar there we go indeed our planks have turned into cameras and also our paintings have turned into cameras and yeah here are our previous cameras and here are our new cameras and now if you just look out here and try to take a beautiful picture, there we go. These cameras work just as fine. We can place them down again as well. And okay, that's quite ominous. Just a whole bunch of cameras in a circle. But there we go. That is how to obtain the camera in Minecraft Better Edition. And again, if you know of any free and capable external Minecraft Better Edition editors, please let everyone know in the comments down below. I have not been able to find any great ones the last few months. The only one that I've gotten to work is the Universal Minecraft Editor. But anyway, there we go. That is the camera in Minecraft Better Edition. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos like this one in the future and so there we go i hope to see you all in the next videos until then mm, bye bye